Hello, my heroes. Welcome to Friday. Thank goodness it's Friday. And thank goddess it's Friday. Now, this wasn't as hard of a week as the week prior, but certainly not too much fun. But sunny and cool today for the air eye. The moon has crossed over Uranus in the last 24 hours. That was that breakdown breakthrough emotionally. We talked about that yesterday in Thursday's horoscopes. Today, things, I think, brighten up. And I would recommend you go out and play because the weekend does have storms ahead. Today, it really is an exploration day. Today's a great day to shop for the home to shop for self-nurturing, to shop for the TLC that you deserve. And that's what you're exploring here in Chapter 1, where your self-nurturing is and where it needs to go. So today with the moon in Aries, your emotions and ego working together. And they are on the same team that makes you charismatic, that makes you great for the sale, that makes you great to get whatever it is you need to get done. Now, tomorrow, the sun is in Cancer, Chapter 1 of Sun in Cancer. We've got a solar eclipse one week away from today. And before we get this big burst of solar eclipse healing, the universe is going to show us just what needs to be healed. So in the next 24 hours through Sunday, it will be breakdown, I'm afraid. Breakdown in the home family unit, breakdown with the way you self-nurture. Something will break down starting Saturday afternoon-ish, moving into Sunday. At the same time, early Sunday morning, the moon, our emotions, crosses Jupiter and Taurus. So it's quite a rockin' time. Now what this means is, for starters, a breakdown. In the way you self-nurture something at home, the universe is going to unveil where you need healing, basically through the weekend. And the moon crossing Jupiter also shows that there might be an emotional simultaneous breakdown on Sunday or following a uh, breakdown that is orbiting around self-esteem. So it's a double whammy. It is you seeing where you need to take better care of yourself and then you seeing how that relates to a lack of soul capital, a lack of self-esteem. Big, triumphant, hopefully corner-turning weekend. And it's Friday. You know what that means. It means we've got great new content up in Soul Nirvana and a new show that we have. This is going to be a weekend update, basically. This is where we just talk about stuff of the week, throw out topics. And this week, what I want to talk about is the top 10 reasons people screw up light casting. There are 10 reasons that always hijack a light cast and I've got them all listed, one through 10, in Soul Nirvana. So if you remember, come on down and ascend with us and get past your light casting trouble. All right, heroes, that's all I have for the weekend forecast, but I'll see you on Monday with more. Until then, live love V. Soul.